Hey guys, it's the day after I had my DNC and I just wanted to update you guys, kind of let you know how it went, how I'm doing, um, and just kind of give you some info. Before I went into my DNC, um, I googled and YouTubed and all kinds of stuff and you couldn't really find much about it. I mean, um, on YouTube a lot of the videos were like, my horror story and I almost died and so like those aren't... The <laughs> best things that you want to see before you go into your DNC um but I should tell you guys about mine so you have a story to see um and just so those of you that are following our journey just have a little bit of an update on um how it went so I went in yesterday morning at 6 30 um to have my surgery and uh, I did all the pre-op stuff. They did, took my blood because they want to check my blood levels because I sometimes am on the anemic side. And um, they were good, so I was good to go. Um, they put me to sleep, so I had general anesthesia. Um, I was awake when they wheeled me back. They put me back. I got on the table. They like did all the stuff, hooked me up to where like, the things would massage my legs so I wouldn't get a blood clot. Um, and then I don't remember anything other than that. Um, I don't, it wasn't a very long, like 15, 30 minutes. Uh, and the doctor said it was very unextraordinary, um, like no problems. I did lose more blood than what you usually do, but she said it was only like two pints worth, um, which is not a ton, but it just makes you more tired the next day. So I didn't need a blood transfusion or anything. I've just been tired today and I'm a little bit pale, if you can tell. Um, my color's starting to come back. I got some pink. Um, but um, when I woke up, I felt fine. I um, was tired, obviously, and um, I didn't have any pain. Um, I might have had a little bit of stomach pain, but I don't really remember um I wasn't emotional I wasn't I'm I was worried that I would feel like my womb was ripped from me like um I was empty like I was missing something but honestly I didn't I just felt fine and I attribute that mostly to the constant prayer that I've been praying for God's peace and comfort and I know that if it wasn't for the peace that he gives me, that I would be a totally different person. It would be a totally different situation. Um, he truly has answered my prayers and has just given me a sense of peace about this whole thing. And um, it really just wasn't a bad experience for me. I do think that if there was a fetus or an embryo in my womb at the time, that it would have been this would be totally different for me. Um, I do believe life starts at conception, so I do believe we had a life, um, but I believe it came and was gone in an instant. Um, God, we created life at conception, and God instantly took it um, for whatever reason. He, I mean, not necessarily that he took it, but it went um, for whatever reason. Um, and that's a blessing in and of itself. That child will never know pain or darkness or sorrow and there's a lot of loved ones we have in heaven that would love to have a baby I mean <laughs> we know that they're up there rocking our babies and so um and what greater parent for your child than Jesus Christ so um we do have hope we do have um light in the darkness it's not all um grief and sorrow we are mourning the loss of another child um it's our second miscarriage if you didn't see um the video that explains our miscarriage and our fertility struggles i'll link that up here and in the description below so you guys can catch up but um it's just a process where we're still processing everything i'm still trying to understand how you can conceive and not have an embryo i mean and not you know i don't really understand the science behind it or um the reasoning behind it but there are many things in this world that I don't understand, and so I do have that on my list of um, things that I want to have clear in my mind when I go to heaven. Um, God says we will understand everything when we get to heaven, so um, I'll just put that back in my repertoire for when I go <laughs> see him. So um, 
I just want you guys to know that it's not always a terrible experience um, with reliance on God, with family, with keeping hope. Um, don't let your hope die that you can get through anything, even the loss of a pregnancy. Um, that's our second one. It's not any easier. Um, I do have more peace about this one. I feel blessed that we do have a two-year-old little boy. I feel blessed that there was not a fetus taken out in the DNC, that the fetus was already gone. Um, and I, I'm just very thankful and grateful for all of our friends and family that have lifted us up in prayers. And um, I just want to be a light um, for all you struggling mamas out there. Um, Losing a baby is not an easy thing. Um, it should not be swept under the rug. Um, I know the second that you conceive, you know you've conceived, you feel love, you love that child, you cling to that child. I mean, that's, I mean, it's your life and you're growing it. And so it is a child, whether or not it was in there for four weeks or 39 weeks. Um, and I just want you guys to know that I'm praying for you. Um, God is with you. He will give you peace and comfort. I'm a testament to that. He will get you through it. And um, I just want you guys to know that I'm doing okay. Um, we are grieving in our own way today. I've just kind of chilled. I got on my Papa's shirt. I wear his shirts whenever he's, when whenever I'm needing comfort. It brings me comfort. He passed away in 2015. Um, and I've just kind of, I've done a little bit and then I've rested. I've snuggled Ben, I've um, prayed, and I've just let the day go as it will. So I'm trying not to stress, I'm trying not to push myself too much, and I'm just not really worrying. I haven't decided, we haven't decided if we're going to keep trying right away or if we're going to just chill. Um, we don't know yet. So. I'll keep you guys updated as we go. Um, it's all new um, and we're doing good. We're doing okay. Um, thank the Lord. I mean, there's no other way we could have done it. Um, so I just give him all the praise and um, I hope that this brings you guys some comfort and some peace, uh, especially if any of you that have to go through this. Um, know that you can get through it and you will get through it. And there is light on the other side so um thanks for guys <laughs> thanks you guys for watching give it a thumbs up and um hit subscribe so you can follow our journey and we'll see you guys later bye